And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today, well, today we're going to be trying to increase our gene bank in size and maybe add a few bonuses onto our kids. At the same time, we're going to get our death rest casks up to higher limits. And, well, there is a mech quest nearby I would really like to look into. There is this thing over here, and I'd like to send someone over to grab whatever it is. I think we'll send over Lunk. But only after they've death rested and got a bit of a speed boost. And so far, I've been hitting up all the shops on the world map. We went here, here, and here. Unfortunately, none of them had anything good. They had a few genes, but no death rest ca capacity serum, so tough. So next up, I'm going to just wander all the way down here and hit up all of those shops. Uh, this is going to be a lot, it seems, of the new DLC, is finding the stuff you're looking for to make the things you want. The base could do with a few changes. Uh, a lot of this was just what we could manage when the time came. I'm, I'm quite happy with this lower half here, but this whole section in here needs a bit of an overhaul. We're going to rip out this wall. We're going to combine these two rooms together. We might even... Actually, we'll probably rip out this wall as well. Hmm. Oh, and we need a bedroom over here. Smokey, or Cowger, Smokey's kid. They're about to get their level up with the Empire, and they're not ascetic, so they're going to require us to get in... Um, yeah, well, they're going to want a nice bedroom and a throne room and all that stuff. So, yeah, we're going to build them on over here. Well, that looks a bit better. I just changed access to the temple to go through the, the gene room. So this place is more cut off. I just wanted to sort of compartmentalize things a bit more. Right now, our prisoners are just coming around to that time of the year where their genes have recovered and it's time to strip out some more genetic material from them. Hopefully we can get some good ones. I've got a list of what I want from different sides and it seems Hussars have the most genes we want. The problem is getting our hands on those is going to be tricky. Oh, and quest-wise, I think the next thing up is Cowger's Acolyte Ceremony. Thank you kindly. We'll, uh, we'll take that one now. I would like Cowger to uh, start moving the, up the ranks. This will gain them a few more points, and then all we need is about two or three more, and they should be able to get to Knight, at which point we can start trading with the Empire. Uh, where is Cowger? You know what? Come back here and immediately begin your bestowing ceremony. Even the kids show up for this. Welcome, welcome, Muppet. You're, oh, your learning is at 89%. Okay, maybe the timing's not perfect, but it's okay. You got a little bit of time left to go before you hit 13. And done. Honorable bestowing ceremony. And title achieved. Okay, Kegger, what did you get? You got blinding pulse. I mean, it's not terrible. Turn out Acolyte with six points. That means they need, what, eight points to be a knight? So two more points to go. So close. Just so close. Right now, we're about to send Smokey off on a very, ooh, a very, very long journey. They're off to do, oh god. Yeah, they still haven't managed to stop them from doing that. Uh, they're all going all the way down here to this location. Well, once they leave the map, we'll slow them down a bit, but we're going to want to stop off at all of these places along the way and hopefully pick up a whole bunch of genes. Now, this place is still not expired, but these places, they've all refreshed their inventory since we were last there. Uh, you, uh, trade with there, that's going to be 1.7 days. Be a little while. Uh, at the same time, this over here is our toxic waste tile. Uh, it's the base right beside our other base. We've made this one ages ago just to dump toxic waste on. And I think, I think we're done. I no longer, like, this place is just, look how toxic we've made it. And still nothing crazy has happened. I mean, this is almost as bad as some reddits. And there's just, like, nothing but a few cocoons. So I think what we'll do is we'll just wait until the rest of these toxic waste packs decay and then we'll just abandon the tile. That way we don't get any negative moods. If you try and abandon the tile now while there's still those toxic waste packs still there, they, it seems they carry a label with your home address and people will come find you and complain. So you're better off just waiting until the packs dissolve, then you're okay to abandon it and no one will ever come find you. So what are we going to do with all that toxic waste now? Well, easy. We're going to fire it off to an island. All the way over here. The contents will be lost. Um, we don't really care. And the thing is, where is it? This island has pollution none. And now it has pollution 1.3, but no one's complained. We're far enough away from anyone who actually likes us that they don't mind. Well, these guys might complain, but we don't care. We already got negative, with, we've already got uh, minus 100 relations with them. It can't get any worse, so we can just dump toxic waste anywhere near there. We couldn't really do this early on, though, because the fuel costs were a little bit high and we were using that fuel to power our base, but now we got too much fuel since we switched over to toxic power, so it might be an idea to start using that fuel to fire the waste even further away. Okay, somehow I missed that a marriage was starting. Um, and we got a Zist event. It's timing, timing, timing. Uh, you know what? That's fine. Everyone can just continue on with the wedding. That was a minor Zist event. We have more than enough battery power to tide us over, plus so much pollution power. Who cares? Anyway, waiting completed, that'll get everyone a nice mood boost, except for Smokey, who's miles away. Oh well, Smokey, tough. Where are you right now? Oop. 
Perfection. Let's see what you've got. Please give us some good ones. Come on, let's see. Oh, death rest zero. We'll take that. Uh, gene pack slow healing. Oh, why would anyone want that as a gene? A death rest serum and some beer. Not the worst. Could be better though. Uh, how's everyone doing back at the wedding? And uh, they're already finished up. Well, wonderful. Okay, Smokey, it's up to you. Give us something. Come on, anything. Come on, Lady Luck. And Snake Eyes. Yeah, we already got elongated fingers at home. And, oh, naked speed. Combined with naked speed, no thanks, we're good. However, we will not say no to the Doomsday and the Low Shield. Doomsdays and Low Shields, you can never have too many. Excellent. Now, I think it's time you went down here as well. Once you get down there, we'll, we'll start stocking up on components as well. I want to bring back a whole bunch of components to this. We're going to do fire skip the whole way back so we don't have to worry about the return journey nearly so much. Oh, this one's also a bust. Uh, I decided to grab some archite capsules while we're here. We're probably going to need them for some of... We're going to need those for some of the, the fancier gene editing we're going to do later, so we might as well start collecting a few now. If they're going to be turned out to be as difficult to get our hands on as the death rest capacity serums, yeah, I think now is the good good time. A gene pack of cold and awful social. I'd love the awful social on its own, but there's no real way to separate that out without an awful lot of effort. Okay then, let's see what this final place has to offer. Before we could get to the town though, we've got to deal with a manhunter pack. 72 arctic wolves have shown up. Yeah, I think our scythers are going to get a bit of a workout today. And that tunneler, though I'm not sure if which is better, the scythers or the tunneler? Well, after a bunch of testing, it turns out this tunneler, well, just checking out the numbers, this tunneler has twice the armor of a scyther, but it has about, well, only about two-thirds the damage, and how did that door end up open? Um, did they just destroy that door? I think they just destroyed that door. It's fine. You know, Pepper Cell's been put on the front line so they can get blooded a bit. I want to make sure they get a few kills under their belt at some point. Uh, still zero kills. Well, okay, at some point they'll kill something. Probably don't leave them up there too long, otherwise the... Oh, wow. You got scratched in both eyes. Well, okay, your time on the front lines has passed. We will put you in there instead. Damn. That's... We're gonna have to get you new eyes. You are not your father's son. Wait, what? Oh, damn it. I need to change some zones again. Zones changed. And let's hope the animals... Where are you going? You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's make sure none of these get uh, lung rot from hanging around all of this gas so long. Like, the corpses are spreading out so quick, we can't deal with the lung rot. It's a good thing we've got those scythers to soak most of the damage. Wow. That was a lot of them. Like... 42 of them are still left alive. We've got 32 who are dead. Well, wonderful. We'll let the, the Scythers finish this off. I think the Scythers make wonderful meat blockers. They do wonderful damage. They're reasonably tough. We can repair them. Uh, can I set you guys to flee? Nope, you're, you're hauling wood to the door. Which door? Never mind. And I'll just skip this to the end. Oh, this rot stink is pretty nasty. Dear lord. How are we supposed to even get close to that? Rot stink exposure major. Uh, long term exposure to rot stink gas. Rot stink exposure has no direct health effects. However, serious rot stink exposure has a chance to result in a painful bacterial infection known as lung rot. When not exposed to rot stink gas, rot stink exposure will slowly decrease. Right. And you've already got two scars and you're mostly blind after one engagement. That is, um... Really unlucky, I suppose, is one way to phrase it. Well, you got in one kill. You, you got you killed one of them before they took out your eyes. It's okay. We, we've got a bench. We'll make some advanced components and re-up some bionic eyeballs at some point. Uh, we just don't have the plasteel to do it just right this minute. But we will soon. We've got ourselves up a long-range mineral scanner, and we're going to find ourselves a bunch of plasteel and possibly some gold. Now, back to Smokey and their trek around the globe. This place was uh, not the worst. We did get our hands on a second death rest, death rest capacity serum and the gene delicate, which is kind of pointless to us, but I'd like to have all of the genes good or bad at one point or another. And that one means like we could put it into prisoners just to make them easier to stop escaping. So why not? We'll take the lot of it. Oh, and we're grabbing a bionic leg for a reason that'll become obvious in a second. That bionic leg went right into Stalker. Uh, Stalker got into a social fight with Lunk. Uh, 
spoke negatively of Lunk's lovers. This drove Lunk into a rage and he began a fight. Just, just don't annoy Lunk. Right, you lost your leg because of it, so just keep your mouth shut. Be, like, just happy for him that, you know, he finds joy in something. Otherwise, he'll find joy in dismembering people, you know, and you don't want him to be dismembering you. This rot stink is really unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, oh, finally the corpses have gone off. Oh, we can get people back in there again. I've had to zone people out of this area because the rot stink from this was that bad. I'm not sure how we do that. I've made a bunch of gas masks just for future reference, so we have 80% toxic resistance built into them. But that's really nasty, dealing with the swarms of animals now. That was just irritating more than anything else. Anyway, repairs have started, but more importantly, it's time for Lunk to go to sleep. Oh, actually no, more importantly, it's time for Lunk to consume the last of this death rest capacity serum. That's six, I think? Yeah, so they're up to six buildings they can support. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, once we stick them in there and start their death rest, they're going to bond to all of these buildings. Well, the, they'll be linked to this uh, casket. Oh, these things require five blood for ten days, it says here. I'm not sure exactly. Normally, when we send them... Oh, there you can see it. Death rest accelerator has been bound. Death rest accelerator, glucosoid pump. So four glucosoid pumps and two death rest accelerators have been bound to this uh, death rest capacity built into lung cure. Nice. Now, if you look down here, where is it? They, instead of having four days left before they're finished, they have 2.5. And actually, there's nothing else going on there. We'll have to wait until they're finished in 2.5 days, but they should get a lovely speed boost out of this. I am looking forward to it. Anyway, in the meantime, let's get rid of all of these corpses. Wait a minute, what the hell? Where did all this stink come from again? I think I found a faster way to dispose of the corpses. We just have to be careful about where we target the grenades so we don't accidentally destroy some of our stuff. But this should get rid of the rot stink pretty fast. Mess cleaned up, everyone back to nice and happiness. Uh, actually, we're about to get another level of psi focus as well on someone. Uh, at the same time, I think, yep, all the toxic waste is gone. We can now abandon this tile with impunity. Good to know. It's just, this has been spitting up our events. I think that might be one of the reasons we're getting so few attacks as well. So let's just abandon that tile. No one cares. No one, like, even bothered by it. Bulk Goods Trader has arrived. Excellent. Hopefully they've got some genes you want. If not, there's a few we could probably sell them. Right now, we're knocking out bioregeneration along with biosculpting. I kind of want these to, well, shut up one of the pawns. Ryan here is constantly kind of complaining. Uh, reason being we can't give them age reversal like the religion demands. And they are kind of valuable to the team, so we'll we'll get around to it. Oh, and where did I put those traders? Oh, there they are. Smokey, why don't you go over and have a chat with them? Let's find out if they've got anything good. They're but good traders, so... unlikely? Those traders were useless. They don't have any genes at all. And yeah, Lunk is now finished with their death rest. We could wake them up. Let's check out their speed. Come on, how you doing, Lunk? Your max speed is 8.66. Uh, yeah, so, where is this? Movement speed, 125% importance. Ah, glucosoid rush, 48%. What's going on here is each one of these uh, glucosoid pumps adds 12% to the movement speed of the pawn. As well as that, this pawn has two bionic legs. So, yeah. Now, when they go out in sunlight, they'll move slower. They're a vampire. They're a vamp, of course. But 8.66 is their default movement speed. That's on the slowest speed of the game right now, and look at them go. They're just insane. I think it's time we sent them... Actually, wait. I think once they get their recreation in, which is done, I want you to begin a linking ritual. Why not? We're gonna get, we're gonna get their casting level up as well. Currently, they're at level 2, I believe. Yeah, so let's get them to Silent level 3. We'll eventually get them all the way up to level 6. So, for your level 3 ability, what are you gonna get, Lunk? Please roll us a good one. And we get... Vertical pulse. Actually, it's pretty handy. Yeah, not going to not going to cry over that one. All right, uh, Lunk, you've got enough side focus. We don't really care. It's time for you to go on a mission. So we, oh, contains toxin packs. Fine, we'll get rid of those. Yeah, goodbye toxin packs. Nice knowing you, Lunk. Time to go on an away mission. Yeah, grab one meal. I suppose to take with you just in case, and then we're gonna load you up. So this part is where they're. Going to grab that mechanator thing. Uh, mechanator complex. Perfect. Drop at the edge if you wouldn't mind. And then we'll load that up again. We just want to have these pods ready to go just in case they run into something they can't handle and they need help. 
Uh, but it's locked. I'm sure they'll be fine. Probably. Uh, let's zoom in. Okay. Not seeing anything aggressive on the map. I'm seeing only one entrance. And we land over here. Perfect. Okay, Lunk. Why don't you put that, put that in your inventory and we'll get you on your way. First step, let's open the door. See what we're dealing with. Nope, don't go in though. Don't go in. Uh, ancient unstable fuel cell. Well, considering your aversion to fire, it's just not. And uh, what have we got in here? <laughs> this is probably the fastest way. Even in the sunlight, we move at 7.79. Uh, just so you know, there is sanguifage, sanguifage, whatever you call them, mild UV sensitivity. Move speed is uh, reduced by 10% when in sunlight. They still move at 7.79. And they're going to keep this bonus until they go back to sleep again. As in, this leukocyte rush lasts until the next death rest, meaning they're just going to keep this speed boost permanently so long as we keep feeding them into the same machine. And uh, nothing in here. Excellent. But that's why I'm so confident sending them on their own. If anything bad shows up, we can just run. Ambush. Okay. Let's get rid of all of this. We were doing some hunting reasonably recently. Uh, tribes people have been ambushed. Okay, what are we dealing with? Should we get out the front door? Yeah, let's get to here. We need to run, we can. First what's inside there. It's a it's a mill tour? Oh seriously. Uh let's just beat this thing down hard. And thorax. Wait, you only cracked it? 16.7 damage. Lunk. Uh, second one straight to the thorax. Uh bruise to your right hand. Well, let's mechanoids have woken up. Well, that's not good. How did they wake up? What are you? You are a Lancer. Yeah, no, that's fine. We'll go kill the Lancer. Come on, buddy. Thing is, it can't really do anything to us because it's not really good at close combat. Left foot shattered. Ow. Dunk, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, wow. I need to start sending some support. Uh, Lunk. Piercing spine, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. What? Oh, their manipulation. Their manipulation is through the floor, which is why they were unable to hit anything. The bruise to the hand messed them up, and then it must have been all arm hits. Okay, we need to be more careful. Okay, that was too dangerous. We might have got lucky there. I mean... Okay, Mechanator Casket found. Okay, let's see what dangers we have to deal with now. Uh, let me check back home. I want to make sure they've got these pods rebuilt. Yeah, just in case we need support here. I don't want to have any more problems with luck. Danny's Mechlink available. Ah. Yeah, I was thinking we stand down the corpse. Oh, yeah, perfect. Uh, we take rip out the Mechlink. And we take that back home with us. Pick it up. No, don't install it. I've been advised, do not give a mech link to a vampire. Uh, the reason being, when they go into death rest, they lose control of all of their robots. Which can be bad. Uh, I think we're done? Actually, we can open this last door, why not? It's ancient enemy terminal. No, no. Not worth risking it. Let's just get out of here, head back home. We got our mech link. One thing we are dealing with is Kyle over here. There are Hassar, the only one we successfully managed to capture. Every 30 days, we need to give them go juice, or well, they'll die. Uh, they lapse into a coma after 30 days and it gives us a warning. So at that point, I usually like to administer go juice. Uh, there you go. They feel much better now and they'll be fine for another 30 days, at which point they'll lapse into a coma. You could do it once every 60 days, it's just I don't want to risk it. I might forget to give it to them and then they'll just die. So much better this way. Ooh, what's this? I managed to extract some genes from Smokey there. In fact, Smokey, you can go... Yeah, we want you to start death resting. We'll get you some a, a new death rest cast thing for you as well. You won't be getting glucozoid rush though. You are going to be specialized as a caster. Let's see what genetics you gave. Coagulate? Hmm. Huh. Toxic immunity and aggressive. Oh, you had to bundle all of them together, but still. Hmm, very nice. Well, Randy likes to keep things going, so cold snap. No problems at all. We are prepared for this. We will just toggle the automatic roof fuels on our fireplaces. All the outside crops will die. That is to be expected. Yeah, let's try a mass harvest here while we're at it. 
If it can't be harvested, it will be harvested. And not you, we don't need any more medicine. I've had to dump about a hundred or so herbal medicine or 200 herbal medicine off the tile just because the stockpiles were getting too high. We've still got 342. I'm going to have to dump another 100, 150 herbal medicine at least. Now, temperature inside is still good. Temperature outside has dropped 6, 5, 4. If it goes to minus 10, all the psychite will start to die. That would be bad. We're using that for money to buy all the parts, genetics, and raw resources we need to fuel our colony. Just until we get the mining sorted. The problem is we just don't we need more labor. Normally I'd have like 20, 25 pawns at this point and we'd just, you know, we'd have dedicated everything. But not really an option with this playstyle. No. And while we're dealing with that, I think it's time Ryan got their age reversal. Ryan is currently at negative seven mood. I think that gets worse. So begin age reversal, cy uh, age reversal cycle for Ryan. And they can hop in the pod and oh, wow. No hanging about, eh, Ryan? Right, let's check. What's your biological age? 29? Well, already worried about her looks. Uh, nice. Uh, we're still harvesting as much psycho as we can. We're up to 343. That stuff really is their money, so I'd prefer not to lose it all. Would you look at that? All gone. Every single piece of psychoid outside. Hey, at least inside's still going. We've kept the temperature to 3 degrees. It's not perfect growing temperature, but as long as it's above minus 10, nothing's dying and we won't lose all of our crops. Well, time for a party and it's Stoker throwing it, which... Yeah, they look a little bit weird. That funky mask also hurts their shooting, but... Uh, there is a quest here that I was just gonna let fly by, but I thought I'd mention it because it's got two Resurrector mech serums on, on, on call. Like, that would be really nice to have. It's just we would have to construct it and this would take an awful long time. I think it would distract us from what's important. What's important is developing out all of the new stuff. Like I really want to finish out the uh, the biotech stuff. So we've almost got uh, the Sangophages up to some some fun levels of stupidity, especially Lunk over there. Uh, dear Lord, yeah, they're, they're suffering a bit right now because I kind of, they've got a bit of gene shock loss. I threw them to the, the gene thingy to rip out some genes out of them. Why not? See if we get something good. Right now, they've actually given us a fair few. We can make some pretty mental pawns out of this. Not just yet. There's some research we got to do, but that's research that will be underway shortly. Why the hell is my crop area covered in squirrels? What the... Right. I need some people with guns. Uh, ugh. There's going to be boom rats as well. Well, this is going to be an interesting vermin extermination. We have just unlocked bioregeneration. That will allow us to repair missing bits and scars and fingers and toesies and things. Though, oh, I'm not sure how much we're going to use that. We're probably just going to go straight with bionics. I'm thinking we're going to meld bionics with genetics and just make some true monsters. However, first step, fire foam. I've been meaning to get this for a while just to sort of fireproof our base. I really feel like they've tweaked the fire mechanics so that they're far less control of it. It used to be fires would take a while to get a control, but I find even with four or five pawns fighting them now, they're much tougher to contain. Also, instead of using a firing squad, I think Lunk can take care of this much more efficiently. You can run around and quickly just blap everything in a hit or two. Plus, it'll improve their melee skills, which they seriously need after that Lancer, they had that trouble with that Lancer. I don't know what exactly happened there, but I need to be more careful in the future, or maybe get him some bionic arms. That's a lot of dead little critters. Good job, Lunk. They can't, really can't slaughter a whole bunch of small animals very, very fast. Uh, that can go into our fridge storage, but I think we've got plenty of food for now. Oh my god, waste packs. They do pile up on you when you're not looking. These little agri-hands are amazing. For just the amount of planting they do, they really pay for themselves. I, I'm kind of curious what you could do if you just got, say, 10 of them and went with a massive just agricultural colony for the for the lols. Uh, it would be interesting, but no. Uh, we've got Smokey's Caravan coming back. They managed to pick up a death rest serum. Unfortunately, no good genetics were there, but eh. Oh, also no archite capsules. And I forgot to send them all our drugs, which is probably not the worst thing in the world. And if there was a bunch of other stuff, I would have to send over more. And why is there all this steel here? You know what? We'll take it. Also... We've been slowly grinding up all the steel slag on the map, just slowly but surely. I mean, it's adding to our steel stockpile, which is now numbers in the 1800. Okay, that's that's a decent amount of steel. Uh, but I'm thinking this quest that's just come up looks very interesting. Bloodthirsty Assembly. A couple of pirates will, not three pirate or three vampires will rock up. Not pirates, pirate vampires, maybe whatever. We don't know what their their day jobs are. Uh, they want to meet up. Yeah, we'll accept it for the death rest capacity serum. We want that. A tornado generator is fun, but ultimately not good for you. Uh, you never want to use a tornado generator on your map. 
You'll use it on an enemy map, but using it on your map is called uh, suicidal. I've done it once, never again. Oh, Ryan's completed their age reversal cycle. Excellent. Uh, they can get back to scanning. They've turned out to be a rather productive colonist. Now, all you gotta do is find us some plasteel. Uh, maps have arrived. We got two coming from up here and one coming from over there. Your name's Stench. Uh, am I gonna betray these guys? Detoxify our kidney. Oh, that does look tasty. Buy on a cart, don't care, and then a nothing. Hmm. And the thing is, if you capture these guys, we could just start, you know, ripping the genetics out of them again and again and again. Hmm. Nah, we've already got two vamps. Like, we've got our, our Yunner's vamp over here, whose genes are regrowing. And I've got this one rare, which I'm letting their genes regrow. I think, I think I prefer the death rest capacity serum. Well, at least you're not doing it in the nursery area this time around. Oh, and we've got a neural supercharger installed. That's for Ryan as well. Keeps them quite happy. They've made it. They've been a very productive member of the team. I just gotta make sure that they don't lose their religion. Every so often, Smokey tries converting them. I prefer if they didn't. Fire foam complete. Uh, damn, I think we got most of the low end stuff. I think medicine production, and then after that, we'll go for armors. Would like to get some decent helmets for our people. We're still rocking these uh, simple steel helmets, and those things have a tendency to not stop bullets as well as the higher end stuff. One brief power outage in the house later, and I think I lost only a few minutes of footage there, thankfully. Um, thank God for autosave, and at the same time, uh, I hadn't actually, I was actually mid-recording when something got lost. But so far, I think we're good. The game seems to be running fine, nothing crashed out, and we're still dealing with the Sang of Ages who are currently having a bit of a chat. Any, any problems? I hear sometimes people come to attack and kill them, usually the impids. It's like the impids are the natural born enemies of the vamps. Uh, pods have arrived. Death rest capacity serum. Well, you know what I mean, Smokey? Uh, I want you to start chowing down on those. I think it's about time. Yeah, uh, and just that death rest capacity serum. In fact, you're going to grab both of them. We'll get you another one. Okay, that's three. And we've got some trading for you to do to hopefully get at least a fourth. And Possibly a fifth or a sixth. In fact, you could probably get several more before your next next rest. We want to get them up to, yeah, six as well. So we want them to get at least three more serums before they before we uh, put them to sleep another time. Or we could just wait for a raid from the night vampires, who are not vampires at all. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh. Now, are any of you types we would like? Ooh, there's a few, definitely a few genotypes there. There's an imp. Uh, baseliner. Any, even dirt moles, I'd like some of their genetics. Hussars, excellent. So I probably am going to have to come up with a way to uh, knock those unconscious or just wound them enough and then mm, interesting things we can do there. All right, let's get some people together. This is going to be, they're attacking immediately. Breacher walls. Okay, so it's a bunch of breachers. Oh, there's sniper rifles. Yeah, I've, I was always worried the sniper rifles are going to show up eventually. Okay, so they've got four snipers. Uh, they've got a few fire foam poppers, some grenades. Assault rifles, mm. scythers to melee block, or scythers to meat block, and then we can have well, all of our shooters behind that. Let's get the team together. Now, getting everyone into position, I have noticed that they've strung themselves out a bit. We've got the grenadier up front, followed by a couple of close combat people. I think we can take advantage of that weakness. I say we send out a team, we shoot down that grenadier. That grenadier is going to be a problem otherwise. Uh, the mechs we can leave behind for now. We can retreat back to them, depending on where they go with this. Oh, they got distracted by the vampires. That could work in our favor. That will buy us a little bit of time to get some killing in. Assuming that spreads a bit more. And that vampire is still alive. They'll bleed out in six hours, but they are deathless. So, well then. And you have no gene damage. We could use you. You could be useful for us acquiring a few extra genetic pieces of material. And this guy, yeah, you're dead. Uh, dead. Molotov, also dead. Okay, with the way they've split up, this gives us a chance. And none of these I actually... Ooh, the Hussar would be nice. But yeah, there's no way we can capture them alive this early on. Could we? We have two shock lances with three charges between them, a bunch of insanity lances, and a couple of low shield packs. I think we can hold them off pretty handy. We just are going to pick away at the edges first. Uh, dead. Well, still alive. Three hours to bleed out. They're a baseliner. Not really worth the effort. Actually, what are their stats? Slothful chem... Yeah, no, no, no. We're good. And this guy. They are so hard to knock down. Oh my god. This one's tough. They're a tough pawn with reduced pain. Yet they're... 
Oh yeah, you're gonna walk through the first volley, and then the second volley is gonna hit. That should drop you though. Seriously? Wow, still alive. Three hours to bleed out. Sir. I would like to keep them if at all possible. Though that means we've got to deal with this entire enemy group in less than three hours. That might require just standing out in the open and gunning them down. We'd be open to that, actually. To get our hands on a Hussar, those things are notoriously hard to keep, keep alive. They normally just die. We can coagulate them to keep them alive, but we do need to capture them. With a prisoner room... Yeah, no, no, this, this might be doable. Hmm, let me think for a second. The plan, simplicity in itself. Skip Ender we want to keep to there. Now, the reason we want them so badly is Hussars have just some really great traits you'd like to rip out of them. Great shooting, great melee, awful at plants, animals, artistic and social. Meaning they're, they're ones you're always going to chuck on people. Like if you don't, if you have someone who doesn't do planting, this is just free points for you to play around with for your genetic engineering. Uh, as well as that, they get super fast wound healing. We already have that one. Uh, psychically deaf, not so interested in, and the go juice dependency. I really like that too. So they have loads of traits I want to rip out of them. So we skip them then we cart them in here by capturing them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lock that door this should be the only prisoner ved available i want you to capture ender yeah that worked fine uh the rest of you i'm gonna want you to stay outside and when the sniper rifle bullets start flying we might pop a low shield okay you i want you to immediately coagulate ender otherwise they're gonna bleed out they got three hours but that should keep them stable Hmm. We've killed a fair few of them already. Are any of these actually worth keeping? I should really be more careful. Now, pigskins, don't care. Baseliner, don't care. Baseliner, don't care. Oh, wow. Just a lot of normals out here. Hussar. Well, oh. That's a Hussar with a low shield. We need to evacuate. Once that low shield goes off, we're in trouble. Ah, damn it. Uh, okay, you coagulate. The rest of you... Keep your... Okay, that's fine. 15 wounds tended. That is excellent. They have stabilized. Smokey, a lot of you. Start running, boys. Yeah, that shield popped. Knew it would. Everyone keeps running. You can set up another firing line back here. And that's another Hussar. They should be dead shortly. That leaves us with Baseliner, Hussar, Impid. Eh, we would like an Impid. They do have fire resistance. Let me see. Let me just have a quick gander through what's left. Looking through all of these potential candidates, I think the one we're most interested in here is Pentaspore. Dirt Mole. They have strong melee and dark vision. Also great mining, which doesn't hurt. So all of those together, like dark vision is an incredibly good gene. You're talking about no work speed penalties and no movement penalties in the dark. You can run around in the dark at full speed with no penalties. That's an incredible gene. Also strong melee, but I think we already got that one. So if we could get those, that would be great. But I think we're going to have killed most of them before it gets that far. And I'm thinking we're probably going to pop a shield to do it. Uh, yeah, that's dead, dead. Oh, wow. Yeah. Get the scythers and everything in here. In fact, I think we are going to not be moving from here. We don't even need cover for what we have planned. Wow. They are just milling about like... Oh, these are... They're trying to wait for someone to actually go attack the walls. That's why they're running around in circles like headless chickens. Well, Pentaspore is not close enough yet, so let's get everyone else up here. That is a slaughter and a half. Uh, yeah, that's fine by me. You know what, Lunk? Why don't you pop over there and give that person a little bit of a smashy smash? Long jump to... Right there, that should put you in a nice position. And how is that guy on fire, or has he just been shot? You know what? Who knows? Ooh, that's an imp. We don't need them, though. We already have an imp in storage, I believe. Uh, dead, dead, dead. Uh, where is Pentaspore? I think Pentaspore is finally in range. Yep, there we go. And done. Done. Uh, let's see if there's anything worth capturing here. Now, I know I've been harping on about capturing Hussars, but there's another opportunity here. This one's about to bleed out in three hours, is it? Yeah, I don't think they're going to make it off the map. Uh, so Smokey's going to shadow them. And if they don't make it off the map, well, maybe they can end up in our jail. And if they look like they're going to make it off the map, maybe we can skip them back so they have to take a second chance at getting off the map. 
Uh, Ryan is going to grab Pentaspore. Lunk's going to grab the Vampire. Lindsay's going to grab the Imp. Uh, one of the Vampires over here, still alive. Where are they? Yeah, over here. And I'd say we capture them and start using them as a gene farm. Why not? Uh, the other one's dead. This one, yeah, got shot down. Here's the thing. You can check under the log here. You'll see bolt action rifle bullet wounded stenches left radius and left arm and they died. They didn't actually get hit in the head. There's this thing here, the Sangophage, was it deathless? Takes a destroyed brain for you to die? I don't think that's actually the case. I think it's just a case of if you die, it rolls the dice. And if you're going to die anyway, they just say it takes a brain destruction. I think it only saves you if, say, your... If your torso gets destroyed, it might say, oh, you know what? You didn't really die, you're deathless. Um, I'm not sure, but it does seem like vampires die real easy, just like everyone else. The deathless thing seems to be uh, not as good as it's cracked up to be. Uh, Smokey, where are you going? Oh, yep. Yeah. Getting over that direction. I think we'll let everyone back to work, though. Uh, we'll see if we capture this dweeb guy. This dweeb guy does not want to go down. He's got like two hours to bleed out. Oh, there we go. Well, eventually you had to go down. We will capture you, and hopefully we can get you back and coagulate your wounds. If we coagulate your wounds, it should save you. No matter how close you are, though, we're definitely going to need to get a blood feed on. All right, perfect. I think that went incredibly well. Who's French? Uh, baseliner, 58. No, thank you. All right. That's our first real engagement in a while, and we managed to get all of the bots. Well, we managed to capture more than a few people. That's two hussars we've got. Oh, we're going to start gene ripping the bejesus out of them. While we're busy removing their options to ever have a prison break, we have found ourselves a plasteel deposit at long range. That seems good. Um, did I miss something there? Ah, the plasteel lump and the plasteel deposit. Right. Oh, yeah, that's good because we really need, desperately need some plasteel and possibly some gold after this. Time to start ripping jeans like there's no tomorrow. We've got 0 0.8 hours left on the vamp, and then it's going to be a whole bunch of these going through. Our gene bank is looking rather healthy. There's probably a few duplicates in there I will have to dispose of, but by and large, ooh, psychite dependency, that's a good one. It just, uh, it gives you four points to play around with. At the same time, our construction bot is due in work. I've got it dismantling all the runes out here, so it's dismantled whatever was there, whatever was there. There was a bunch of runes, like, somewhere over here, maybe, and then more down here. I'm slowly getting rid of all the ruins on the map. Why? Well, because it seems like a good use for that bot. And it's giving us a whole bunch of bricks to work with, of different material types, which is why our base looks like a hodgepodge of different stone. I know people like a nice uniform look, but eh, that's fine. So long as it works is all I care about. All of our trading has finally paid off. We're now actually allied with... Uh, God damn it. We're allied with Lan Wilthor. They have become allied to us. Uh, Smokey just finished a big trade section there. That was we get out of them in the end we sold them so much drugs and in exchange we got a couple of well we hit up two places we got two skill trainer medicals a psychic shock lance two death rest capacity serums and two archite capsules just those two places alone gave us better trade deals than i think the entire run down here uh oh and we also had melee as a gene the great melee gene or is it the one that uh oh, in here somewhere i listen there strong melee damage but yeah we, we didn't need that all right uh Actually, was it strong melee that it was, or what was it? Oh, actually, wait. Harrier's aptitude for melee is increased by eight. We might actually stay for that. We can't afford it, but I know where we can get the money. I was about to do some alliance type stuff, but uh, we'll tell them to stay there for now. Uh, we're going to take care of this attack. What is it? Oh. Have time. That's six centipedes. Uh, that's, that's a lot of centipedes. Uh, also one of those little dudes and a lancer. Right, approaching from multiple angles. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Oh. Right. And they've got a centurion. Right. Four more centipede blasters, a scyther, a centurion. Hmm. Right. We need a plan, and I think we need Smokey back. Hmm. Smokey and... Yeah, we could always come back here. Smokey can teleport. Yep, we'll basically drain all of their Psy focus, but at least that means we'll have them their firepower. I need a plan. From what I can see, we have a few moments to actually prepare. Yeah, they're going to prepare... They're, they will prepare for a while and then attack. So I am going to get Stalker into position. They're the most important one right now. They've got all of these scythers, which we are going to use to create some chaos. Oh, and everyone should be set to kids inside, including the kids. 
Uh, at the same time, this pot is mostly full of lots of spuds and corn. We're uh, dumping some crops because we don't need them anymore. And oh, let's launch this. Yeah, I don't care. We want you to launch this. No, give to Smokey's Caravan. That should give Smokey's Caravan just enough money to buy that gene we were hoping for before they teleport back. Then everyone else needs to start getting it together. Right. Start getting over here, people. Move. Um, if that's where they're going to group up, this makes this much simpler. Odds have arrived at Smokey's Caravan. Great, we can buy that stuff we were hoping to get. Yep, that should just give us... Oh, actually, that was very close. I thought we would have more money than that. Damn it! I am going to figure out how I can afford this. Sold the bedroll. Why not? Uh, I want you to fire skip back home. Now, where did you end up? Where are you? Perfect. Okay. The animals will have to be let run amok for just a little bit. If this is actually not so bad. Now all we need to do is aggro one of them. Get one of them to go nuts with an insanity lance. The Centurion's shield. It's 300 hit points, but that's actually kind of weak sauce in my opinion. Uh, so I'm not really too worried about it. We got a shock lance. No, who's got an insanity? Someone here is carrying an insanity lance. I know because we have loads of them. Shock lance, shock lance, low shield pack. Seriously? Seriously, no one's got an insanity lance. You, never mind. There's two more on the way. We've got Katie's and Ryan, both of whom are carrying insanity lances like normal sane individuals. Pepper City's gone back to get a shield belt. Ryan, why don't you get out there and let's start the party. I uh, go to about... And you get a shot off. No, you cannot. Hmm. Smokey, what do you got on tap? A bunch of stuff, but none of them too helpful. All right, Ryan. Oop. That's a bit too soon. Insanity that one, if you wouldn't mind. Then back inside. Perfect. They should start murdering each other right there. Now, once they start murdering each other, we can take advantage of that. Uh, actually, get everyone back a little bit further. I want... Yeah, that guy needs to be up front. Scythers, no. No, don't go outside. There you go. Are they not? Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. Go, go, go. Charge! Now, three of you need to attack that one. Three attack the other one. Uh, Lunk's going to be out there in a bit. Actually, let's get everyone out there. Go, 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 go. And... Excellent. Now, where's Lunk? Lunk? Time to do the Lunk Dunk. Uh, I want you to distract that one right there. Perfect. Uh, Tunneler, you're incredibly slow and sort of useless at times. Oh, actually... I think we find ourselves a prime target, the only close combat unit they've got. And dead. Perfect. Get up close and pour on the damage. That's pretty much... God damn it, guys. Pick the closer one. It'd be harder to miss. And dead. You. Melee that one. You three, I'll get behind that. Okay. Done. God, these scythers make things so much easier. Just, you have a disposable meat shield that you're not so worried about ending up getting killed, so it kind of makes things just a little bit easier to handle. Right. Now, we still have these guys left. There's six of them. But we can get some repairs on real quick. Bring everyone back inside. Bit of a medical tent. I figure we can get a little bit more done before they show up. Uh, actually, no, we'll leave those centipedes as unacceptable for now. And Pepper Cells finally showed up with a shield bot. Okay, healing, repairs, getting everyone up to speed. I don't think we'll be able to repair all the scythers in time. Though, see, that is pretty quick. Oh, that one's on 34%. They took a good bit of a pounding on some of them, but several of the others should be back up and running in no time at all. And mechanoids from the Zelton Hive are beginning attack. Hmm. 
think a similar strategy is going to be required. We insanity say one, maybe even two of them. There is, there is six of them, and they are pretty tanky. So we insanity two, and then we let the scythers do the tanking on top of them, and then we rush in at the end with uh, our shooters doing a lot more damage. Let's see what we can get repaired up before they arrive. Well, we're going to meet them in the field. The snow killbox run is making things interesting in that respect. Uh, we're going to stick the tunnel right front to try and soak damage. Excellent. And that kills the two early bots. That still leaves, well, the meat of this sandwich. Hmm. Yeah, they've got long range guns. I suppose we could kite them a bit in the field. We are faster than them. I'll take all their gun toters. And let's see about that. Could give it a little bit of a try. And, and we've got a couple of uh, insanity lances that could make things a little bit faster as well. Yeah, I don't think I like this. It's just the range is just a little bit too much. Yep, yep, keep moving. <laughs> no, keep running, keep running. <laughs> Fun way to do things, but I don't think this is a, a good way to win. The problem is it just takes too long to kill them all. I think it's time we uh, started doing our uh, our insanity lance approach. Okay, who's got him? Break him out. It will be Ryan's job to get in range of the healthiest ones we can find, which I think is... That one? Yeah. Zappy dee zap zap. Perfect. And then these ones here have all actually been injured quite decently, except for that one on the edge, which you know what? I, I'm not I'm not bothered getting that one on the edge. Now the plan would be we can sort of while they're busy chewing each other to bits, we can just sort of skirt around the edge and pick off the ones just on the edge while we're outside of their range. That centipede right there is looking uh Injured and available for shooting. And yeah, we're getting free damage while they're busy killing each other. Nothing like watching centipedes destroy each other. Ooh, that guy's not going to last much longer, but we don't really need to care too much. Ooh. Okay, that guy's gonna be dead in a second. Who else has got themselves an insanity lance? God damn it. Katie's has got one. So Katie's, I'm gonna need you to pop over here real quick, like. And give me an insanity on that one. Oop. Damn it. Cowgirl, stop getting shot. Dumb. How is that one even still shooting really well? It's down to 14% 14 hit, 14 hit points. Hey, you guys. Start targeting those two. Yeah, this is turning out to be generally pretty cheap, except for Cowgirl's uh, bruise, bruise, crack. Okay, okay. No, it's good. It's good. It's fine. And we've still got the Scythers in her back pocket for if there's any left over after us. I think that's the maximum amount of insanity lances we need to use. For the last one, we will flee a little bit, and we're going to send in the melee units. Yeah, they can take care of this problem. And, oh, don't stop. Don't. Oh, yeah, Stalker's not in range. Okay, Stalker, I'm going to need you to get in range with all of your people. They should totally help out. Yeah, there we go. That's one downside of having a, a Mechanator. You need to be in range to make this work. Kind of does make things a little bit awkward. And that should be done. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, someone's a major break risk. I need to take care of that. Oh, Smokey and Cowgirl. Smokey, we cannot afford to be, for you to be having any mental breaks. And uh, what's going on? Ooh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Wearing flag vest. Okay, we're going to pop a Soothe Pulsar. There's one around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. We're going to pop a Soothe Pulsar. We can't have any vampires going nuts on us. Where's Lunk gone? I let Lunk go back for some uh, healing. Oh, damn it. Hey, Lunk, once you're done with that, I want you to pop that Soothe Pulsar. I want you to help everyone out. This was a little bit of a long, drawn-out fight. Well, we've just had a solar flare, and I've discovered the joy of them. Uh, it turns out when you get a solar flare, your mechanator loses a point, because, well, we built one of these band nodes, so we would have an even number of points for our mechanator. That way it gave them 22 bandwidth, so we could control one extra scyther. Now that we've got a solar flare, that scyther is just wandering around uncontrolled because we have insufficient bandwidth. Which means if you build up a whole bunch of these things and get hit by a solar flare, you're in so much trouble because all of your bots, you'll lose control of them. Um, that seems bad? 
I mean, that makes solar flares really bad for mechanators, like just horribly bad. Your robots still work, it's just in case you lose control of them. Oh, and does it, it, it like that's Scyther 3, that's not even Scyther 5 or 6 or whichever one was the last one. Uh, what the hell, how did you get food poisoning? Never mind, you're a cougar, it's grand. Okay, so that means building masses of these is not a viable option. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, what the hell? A grizzly bear is hunting Lunk for food. Um, so suicidal grizzly bear? Oh, that's a cougar. Where's the bear? No, that one's wandering. Uh, that one's also wandering. That's a fox. What the? Oh, there it is. Right, Mr. Bear. Well, let's let's see how you do in a 1v1. And where is backup? Just in case. I think we've got a pawn somewhere around here. Uh, you know what? I should probably send someone out just in case this goes badly wrong. Smokey, you're hauling... Actually, you're headed this direction already. That is a miss on both sides. Oh my god, another miss. Okay, your melee is only 11. Dodged. Dodged again, or was that off the armor? Okay, so... Two hits, and... Okay, you just need one more hit to the torso when it goes down. Oop, lugs got hit. Front leg, body, right eye. Right front paw cut off. Okay, so you can take out a bear in one-on-one -on -one combat, but that Lancer gave you trouble earlier. I do find that melee is a bit, um... Random. But hey, what can you do? You, uh, prioritize hauling that grizzly bear back. You might as well bring home the bacon while you're here, or bear meat, or whatever the equivalent meat variant is. Alright then. Um, oh, we've also got two death rest serums we should be applying to Smokey. That will bring them up to five. They still need one more, though, to, to catch up with uh, Lunk. And once they get five, we're going to put in their, their caskets right here. Yeah, we probably should put them in separate rooms to avoid cross-contamination between the two, but I want to play it risky. Plus, it looks just cooler if we have a big stretch of them there. So, with our vampire here that we captured, I've decided to, well, try a little something-something. See, the thing is, I like vampires that are in death rest. For example, Rare here is in death rest, which means we don't have to do anything with them. They just lie there. Uh, Wallace over here was not in death rest, so we pulled out their heart. Once their heart was out, out of them, they seem to have gone into involuntary death rest because of uh, lethal damage. Now if we install the heart back into them... Uh, wait a minute, where is it? Install heart. Yes, there we go. So if you put the heart back into them, will they still be in death rest? Uh, so I've turned off auto wake up. So in theory, they should just remain in death rest and we should be able to just keep harvesting their genes without them ever waking up and becoming a problem. Theory. And let's put it into practice and see how it actually works out. And, uh, yeah, still death resting. Perfect. So we can just use them, dump them into this gene harvester every 20 days or so when their genes regrow, and then just keep harvesting as many genes as we want. Right now, our, uh, our gene bank is looking pretty nice. In fact, do I need to build more of these uh, gene banks? You know what? I think we got a little bit of space left, but hey, you know what? Put in a couple. Put in a few more. Why not? And next up on the research front, I was going to go with armor, but I'm thinking gene processing so we can start splicing in a few genes, and then arco-genetics for some serious gene splicing. Now, while all of that gene ripping out is going on, I mean, we are constantly ripping out genes. What do we want? That's the dirt mole. Oh yeah, we're missing one thing from them. I want that dark vision. That would be really nice for our people. Anyway, this is all the genes we've got in our gene bank so far. We could do some really nice stuff. We don't have the complexity yet, but we're, we're working on the research to get the, uh, to, to get the gene processors to increase complexity. But for now, we want to get our hands on more Plasteel. That means we're going to be launching over to this lump of Plasteel. Uh, drop in center if you wouldn't mind, because it seems to be a safe tile. And while you guys are away, we're going to replace those immediately. Just in case there is any problems on the other end. Now, let's speed this along slightly. And, yep, yeah, people have landed. Excellent. Let's zoom in and see. Oh, is that all the Plasteel there is? I was kind of hoping there'd be a bit more. Well, no worries. What we'll do is we'll just mine that out. Uh, you are going to be, have to be moved into group one. Wait, my bad. You need to be assigned to group one, which is the work group, and you'll get started. We had to we sent Stalker along because they're actually one of our best miners. In fact, they're they are our best miner. They come in at a thirteen. They've been working a lot of drills. We also sent them with Psych IT to keep them happy, and some wake up, and some flake, and some yayo. You see these. Stalker, the stalker's a waster, 
And as such, they have a Psychite dependency, meaning they're immune to all Psychite things. So they can skull down, flake, yayo, and Psychite tea and won't get addicted. And they're also immune to wake up addiction, meaning we can keep them working here all day, every day. Nice. Uh, I'd probably get them to pick all this stuff up first, though. Uh, we don't want them leaving it out in the rain, but uh, it should be a case of we should be able to mine this out really quickly. Well, uh, we had a, a trader pass by, and dear lord if they don't have some good stuff going on. Uh, the main one is they've got the gene pack for Awful Artistic, which is a minus 8 to your artistic. That's actually a very good negative to have on some people. You only usually have one artist, so that's just free points. Elongated Fingers, I think we have that one, though I'm not sure if it's combined. They've also got two Archite Capsules and a Death Rest Serum, so yes and yes. Uh, they've also got Fire Skip, Invisibility, Skip Shield, a uh, couple of Cooking Trainers. i got to start using these Skill Trainers, like we've got a couple of Medical Skill Trainers, and I know... Actually, I know not those. Uh, one second here. Let me just check a few things before we come into that, but... Dear Lord, just sometimes you hit it up and you hit the jackpot with a sale. This was rough. We actually don't have enough money. Due to that uh, cold snap earlier, it wiped out a bunch of our flake and our general income has dropped drastically. We don't have any massive amounts of flake in storage, so money-wise, we're actually pretty tight. We got the Archive Capsules, Death Rest Serum, Awful Artistic Gene, the Gene Pack for Slow, but we're not able to grab any of the, the side trainers. Really would like that invisibility. I even had to sell off a stone skinned land that we meant to install in Lunk God knows how long ago, but never mind. It's fine. We got a we got a decent enough deal out of that. Now where was I? Oh yes, we're gonna finish this off and send everyone home. Uh, this should be just about finished. That is 359 plasteel. And one of the joys of this now is when you reform the caravan, the tunneler has carry capacity, 123 kilos, which means it can carry. Should be able to carry back all the plasteel, should it? And yep. And you've still got carry capacity to spare. That is kind of amazing. Like, if you've got two of those tunnelers and, uh, well, definitely a stalker type, as in a, a waster, you can send them out with wake-up and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about them overdosing. They are just perfectly designed. Combining the two of those together, just the best way possible to get minerals. That's point eight of a day until they get back. Until then, I'm going to be rather nervous. You see our little, uh, our army of scythers here are only really good when our mechanator is around. Otherwise, we can't draft them. Uh, they won't follow any around, so we have no meat shield at the moment. We're just depending on Lunk and Papper Self to be our meat shields, which I mean, I'm sure they'll do a good job. It's just, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a weakness. Couple more death rest serums here for Smokey, and they're up to level six, which is incredible. I think Lunk's going to be going to sleep first, so we'll have to hold off on building them their buildings. We don't want Lunk to accidentally bond to their buildings. Actually, they shouldn't, so long as we don't give them death rest serums. Uh, we'll leave it for a bit. There's no rush on getting Smokey their, uh, their death rest stuff done. But we do have all of these trainers. I want to start assigning them out. I have been very lazy about this. First thing we want to do is grab Katie's here. They started off with very weak medical, but if we use this skill trainer to learn medical, that should bring them up of... Okay, they're at 11. They can now perform operations with complete safety. That kind of helps. Oh, the shooting's already at 10. Next up is Cowger. They're going to be our key to the Empire, and I think a little bit of extra social would help them out, so cranking them up to a level 11 seems to be a good idea. Nice. And we have a few more like animal and stuff like that, but I don't think they're actually worth applying out to anyone. And, oop, how's this room looking? This room is now looking decent. <laughs> I'm just throwing statues in here to overpower the negative decor so that when people are working in here, they don't get any negatives. Why not? Oh, and large sculptures are all complete. I think we've got enough sculptures for now. And Lindsay is... Yeah, she's up to 14 artistic. Remember, that kid has really come a long way. They're only 13 years of age. 13 years and 40 days, and they're already up to level 14 artistic. And even more plasteel. Uh, yeah. Others will mine it out. There is plasteel over here, but that's got hostilities. Uh, there's plasteel over here. And I think there's another one. Yeah, this one over here. That one's way too far away. Hmm. Probably this one next. But this, this should, the ones we've got coming back should already give us enough plasteel to start getting to work on some proper advanced components and bionics. Oh, and finally, Muppet, our final kid, has become an adult. Let's see what they got. Ooh, hard worker. Great memory? Slow learner, though, thank you. Pretty. Mm. Now, what were we going to do with you? I think it has to be hard worker. 20% bonus to global work speed with no negatives. Undergrounder comes with pluses and minuses. Great memory is nice, but with double burning passions, we won't have to care. Brawler, no thank you. Pretty, yeah, we got bionics for that. And slow learner, yes, yeah, that's it. That's a hard negative, no. 
Now, since we've got a bonus to hard working, I think mining is just a no-brainer. We can turn them into an absolutely incredibly good miner. Get them a few drill arms. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, construction and intellectual on top of that. I figure when they're not mining, they can be either making drugs or doing our research for us. They'll probably be spending most of their time mining, unfortunately. So I don't really see any other way to really work this. Artistic, crafting, animals, none of those are going to be really useful side projects. So maybe intellectual at the start, uh, intellectual until uh, all the research is done and then they can just concentrate entirely on making drugs and constructing stuff. Well, hopefully. Okay, so now they are an adult. Now they do have to get some gear on and where did all of that blood come from? Uh... Okay, so a, a bear just wandered in. Right, well, I do leave this door open so that the enemies have somewhere to pass to. If we don't leave this door open, they'll just start attacking our walls, you know, if they're one of those, uh, just a normal raid. That way they have a way through. That's probably why all those animals ended up in here, but I've closed these doors. All the food is, like, crammed back. Oh, they probably came for the potatoes. Well, can't be having that. You know what, you'll bleed out in three hours, it's fine. We'll just have to mop up the mess. In the meantime, Muppet can go grab themselves some proper gear. No, we don't need another shield pop on someone. You know what we need? Uh, force equip the insanity lance, if you wouldn't mind. And then get clothed up. Yeah, you're looking more like one of the team. We're going to have to make you, though, a duster. Give me a... Yeah, we've got enough of... Uh, what's it called? Devil Strand. Should have enough Devil Strand to make you a duster. Ah, excellent. Gene processing is finished. That allows us to make even more complicated gene packages which I would like to be able to do. Now we get Arcogenetics. This allows us to use those Archite capsules to make, well, really complex, dangerous uh, gene combinations. Now, Biotech, give me gene processors. Wow, 25 plus steel, 100 steel and a bunch of components. Well, one, two, four to start. That's 100 plus steel. Yeah, we can afford it. Oh, and Lindsay's throwing a party. Good for Lindsay. Manhunter pack. In the middle of a party, how... Oh, it's polar bears. Right, this is really going to cause a whole bunch of annoyance right now. Ah. Damn it, it's just... It's going to be the toxic stink afterwards that's going to be the problem. And it's going to interrupt the party. That's just mean. All right, let's get them together. Or realize I've gone over the hour again. God. <laughs> okay, uh, next up will be just... Uh, we'll be destroying those. I think we've got one batch of grenades. Hopefully two. If we've got two batches of grenades, it will help destroy the corpses faster than they can accumulate. Uh, no, actually, oh, we actually, yeah, we definitely do have two batches of grenades right there. I can see them both. Next up, we'll fry grenade them. But I think the most uh, interesting bit that's coming up is the DNA recombinations. We have options here, some really fun ones. So, like, say, grab a, a pawn, like, say, a Muppet here. They're our newest pawn. We're going to turn them into a, what? They've got mining, construction, social, and intellectual. Oh, and for stats in here... They've got poor artistic, they're aggressive, weak immunity, pollution stimulus, fire spew, all this stuff. In here what we can do is start adding in a bunch of stuff, like this archite metabolism thing. When you put that in, it basically gives you a bunch of free points to play around with. Four. Well, not quite free, you do get pig noses. But assuming you're going to assign out genes like this to everyone, they'll all end up with pig noses. But it also gives them flammability resistance. Uh, let's check on perfect immunity, and um, it also makes them psychically dull. If you're going to make them psychically dull, you might as well go the whole hog. Where's uh, where's this other one? Psychically deaf. You make them psychically deaf, that gives us even more points to play around. In fact, we got a, a plus six saving on our metabolism. So let's start adding on some benefits here, like great shooting. That gives them a plus eight shooting with a plus one passion in it. Uh, great melee. Wait, no. Strong melee? Great melee. That gives them a Plus eight melee with a plus one shooting on or a plus one passion on top of it. So they currently have a, a single flame passion and shooting in melee. After this, they'd have a double flame passion, assuming we apply this genetic package to them. Of course, it's eaten into our efficiency, but that's okay. High libido. That just means they get more loving when they hook up with someone. Also, let's give them awful artistic. They they already suck at artistry, so yes. And they don't they aren't not good at plants either, so get rid of that. And oh, they're also they don't have anything to do with animals. They do have construction on their side, so let's leave them that. Oh, strong melee damage. Why not? This increases their melee damage by 50%. All for the cost of being psychically deaf, poor at animals, all plants, and artistic. All of which is stuff they were never going to get into anyway. Oh, robust if you wouldn't mind also. So now they take 25% less damage, and they've got a smooth tail on top of that, which increases their manipulation. Hmm, what else can we pile in here? Ooh, 
psychite dependency. This means they have to consume psychite tea once every five or six days or they get negative side effects. Yeah, everyone's drinking psychite tea anyway, we don't care. Throw away in a little bit of sanguine here means they have a, a plus 12 moodlet bonus by default. Uh, and we've still got two points left to work with. Uh, I'm not even sure what to put in with that. I mean, we could go elongated fingers or total anti-toxic lungs. That could be interesting. Like, total anti-toxic lungs means, well, they're completely immune to environmental resistance. So toxic fallout, uh, rot stink, all that stuff, completely immune to it. It will increase their hunger rate slightly. Uh, I don't think there's any more negatives we can throw on top of it. So there you go. Let's just say we built this gene package. We could then apply that to our newest Muppet. And then Muppet would have all of this genes on top of their normal package. And they would just be, well, they'd be quite... Good, in fact. And then there's also this. This is free. It just costs us another archive capsule. This is going to cost us four archive capsules. We do have that money, I believe. Gene implanter means they then get the sort of the vampire kiss thing and they could literally implant this gene package on someone else. They'll have to wait two years until their genes stabilize or something like that. But every two years, they'd then be able to implant their gene into someone else and it would give them all of these stats. I don't think we'd need it, but it's free except for the archive capsule. So we might just install it on people. And there's so many other abilities we could do here. Like you can mix and match as you see fit, so it's not really a problem, though I think we've got all the good ones. We can give them great intellect, great crafting, great mining, there's a whole bunch of stuff you could show on and off, and you can mix and match this. Like, we could get rid of the strong melee, right? just say, because we know they're going to be ranged, and instead we could throw in great mining, um, well, get rid of toxic lungs, we could replace those, there's all sorts of things we could do, and that's where I want to take this. And then I want to combine it with bionics, to make a team of absolute, just like five of the children want to be absolutely psychotically good, bionic up, gened up, and then we send them back and let them have kids and then see what more we can do on top of that in the next generation. Well, that's the theory, but I, that's going to have to wait till the next episode. That, that and the polar bears. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. <laughs>